as something where we can hold each other accountable and you can hold me accountable to the fundraising aspect of things. So I recently onboarded Calvin. I just texted him earlier and then um, he's going to hopefully tell us more about uh, what ideas he might have with doing annual concerts. He's done tons of uh, uh, concerts and I'll, I'll just skip that and wait for him to come back uh, to come and then and explain that. Um, but what I have first see is like we do an annual concert just for the sole purpose of raising awareness and fundraising. And then on top of that, we have our three programs. Um, the one that Anna Lynn and I are building up through the journal artist program, the storytellers program would be the production side. Um, and then the showcase. All right, so, oh, and one more thing is the nonprofit. If there is, uh, we're still looking for a, a grant writing leader. We have two grant writers currently. We have John and we have, um, um, I hope I'm not pronouncing her name incorrectly, uh, Jenna. We have Jenna and John. And uh, they're both looking for a head to, to just, you know, solidify the team and come up with some kind of strategy to uh, hunt, gather information, and execute. Uh, let's see. Yeah, any questions or comments on that so far? Nope. No. Okay, great. Um, I was thinking about a Valentine's Day crowdfund, but that obviously didn't happen. So we're going to delete Valentine's and we're just going to say it's a 60 day crowdfund program. I already, um, I'm coordinating with two um, cool, uh, passionate uh, crowdfund managers. Uh, one is Matthew. He's crowdfunding with me on volume one. Um, so I'm like just putting together the rough draft right now to get ready to send out to all the artists and producers like, hello, after three years, I know you haven't heard from me in a while, but I promise I'm still alive. Welcome, Ezra. Hey, guys. So sorry. Hey, Ezra. Hey, Ezra. What's up? Hey, guys. I hey, apologize. we miss you. How's everything going in LA? It's going. It's going. I just, just got back from church right now. From where? Turkey? From church. Oh, from church. Oh my <laughs> Sorry, I'm so out of it right now. I thought we said turkey too. <laughs> yeah. I did. Oh, maybe that might be the next destination. Yeah. Church in Turkey. Um, no, how, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Say uh, hi to Jesus for me. Um, <laughs> actually i don't want to i don't want to distract her <laughs> no no not at all not at all uh, i went to church today too so yeah anyway um so yeah uh so we're we're on item two we're talking about a 60-day crowdfund um so uh you came at a the best time you're you're really good at timing ezra um I was just saying how uh, we we already put together the ads. The ads are ready, Ezra. Like we have the landing pages ready, all the wow. ad copy, and Anna Lynn and I went over it, and Carson put it together. So it's solid now. Um, we're just asking if you or your team and your team could um, implement. Yeah, to uh, implement it, and then of course flag anything. You see anything weird um yes and before you activate it like set it up for now before you activate it let me know so i can activate the indiegogo campaign because right now this is still a preview wow. but once it's live i can embed the uh link to each uh, landing page of the 45 landing pages mm. yeah so I just want to show you what we all did collectively. Um, Maybe you want to just just knock like wh why are we waiting to, to have them up? Just because there's a time limit, of course, right? Like we're putting them up for a designated amount of time. Huh? You you bring up a good point. Um, I was say 
right on Monday, right tomorrow, you know, me and Jeffy can knock it out and we can get these campaigns active. Okay. Our, our account is live again, so we're good yeah. to go. Yeah, and thank you, Ezra, for... Yeah, our, our account got deactivated because of something that we, like, I, I don't know what happened. It got deactivated. Bottom line, Ezra and his team really saved the day. It got reactivated. So now we just got to implement it. So what do you think, Ezra? Do you think we should, um, we should activate the Indiegogo now before, send, like, pre preparing for it just for the Google ads to I, activate? I, yeah, I would say so. Okay, let's do it then. Let's let's do it tomorrow. I'll activate it tonight and right after this meeting. I'll embed it in all forty-five, and so tomorrow you can um, you could just set it up. How's that? That's a that's a that's a game plan for sure. Perfect. And we're on flex funding for Indiegogo, so there's no pressure to meet our goal. And I asked the uh, uh, Matthew and Sebastian to. Also set up Kickstarter and Patreon. Uh, and Annalyn, uh, about Patreon for now, since everything's like, we have like five perks, we're just gonna keep it consistent for now. And maybe the Patreon will give you the account for that, Annalyn, and you can, you can add in that extra P should you feel it appropriate. I'm totally open for that. Like the podcast. That sounds good, yeah. that's. Sounds good to me. Okay, cool. I yeah, I, I think the best to keep it consistent, I'll just copy the Indiegogo straight onto the Patreon and then anything that's podcast related, we can add it at a later date or we can add it to a separate page. It's that's be flexible on that. Okay, great. And by the way, you don't even have to um, you don't have to set up Patreon because um, I believe Sebastian's going to do that. Cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we got a team. This is exciting. Um, so, yeah. Uh, awesome. So, um, Carson and Pedro and Leon, they created the nine personas, like, uh, Q4 of last year. And then I created the copy for, like, two copies, one for CrowdFund volume one and one for crowdfund volume two for each persona. And then we created five customized landing pages per persona. So this is going to be highly segmented. And Ezra, like with all his knowledge in, digital, in Google ads, it's going to be super exciting to see how it goes down. Um, like the key to success in any advertising is definitely tons of segments, tons, tons of testing. So you hit the nail on the head there. Oh well, yeah, I definitely we we collectively did it. So it's just so amazing to see. That was that was you. That was all you, Minji. That's all you. you no, credit. no, it really wasn't all me. It was like, like yeah, okay, it was mostly, but not all. <laughs> time, okay. Um. So it's it's very exciting, especially the personas and stuff. It's really awesome. So is is everything in the the um the real time board? What's your question? Is every is like all the information in the real time board, like all the links to the landing pages and Yes. And I'll show you where to find it. You go to ad groups. So we're right here, this link right here, ad groups. If you click on it, it'll give you all forty five copies. And so yeah, uh, like I said, Carson put it together first, then Annalyn and I um copy edited it and it looks it yeah it fits amazing yeah cool we're ready to launch it's exciting i'm gonna let matt and um and sebastian know that we're just gonna try it out for google adwords and just make indiegogo more of a segment for google adwords um and then and then we'll focus a lot of our influencers they're gonna they're gonna research influencers uh, for a love story and Matt Matthew put together an affiliate program for the um, for the customized we have an in-house uh, crowdfunding platform that Matthew put the affiliate programs in so we're gonna give that to our internal house so anyone can crowdfund 
um, I mean, sorry, refer, and then get 10% of all the sales from any of the five perks. Uh, so that's just a small incentive. It's, you know, obviously not like the breadwinner here, but it's just something to, you know, help people say, hey, we really care about this nonprofit mission. You help us and you get to take your day out on a dinner, you know, like a second Valentine's dinner date or something, you know, um, from the money hopefully they'll make. Um, okay, so uh, let's see, where are we now? All right, any questions about the crowdfund? So the so the affiliate so they're so slightly confused by the we're saying we're going to use the Google we're going to basically be sending them to our Indiegogo which is embedded into our site, correct? Yes, it's going to be embedded oh. into our forty five landing pages. Each landing page will have a video, and then the Indiegogo crowdfund. Easy, and okay. then. Um, and then what, where are we sending the influencers to go a different, a different funding? Yeah. 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 We're going to go, um, we're going to drive them to, I'm going to show you it's, I haven't put it up yet, but Matt and I were working on this. Um, it's crowdfund.thelovestory.org. And as you can see, this is the, the, project and there's supposed to be some kind of affiliate behind it mm. and this is purely for the affiliates right yeah for influencers to yeah. Yeah. hopefully you know make some oh. yeah because we can't pay our influencers now, so we're just gonna see if they yeah. would do it on commission so we'll see okay, cool. yeah and it, it was impossible to send them to the same Indiegogo campaign with the affiliate link. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to ask Matt to see if that's possible. Just because it'd be nice to keep it. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, you guys put all this together already, but it would be nice to see it like centralized. So like, you know, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Plus, just, just, just thinking out loud here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you think, Ibrahim? I, I he makes up a very good point. Yeah, it makes sense to make it at least easier. Yeah, I'm gonna but, ask Matt. To see but it can... might not be possible. It might not be possible to track affiliate conversions with the Indiegogo platform. There may not be an integration possible. Yeah. You know, so it might be the it might be the only way. I think that's probably why you guys created it like this is because it, there is no other way yeah we could give them an option like we could say if you want to join the affiliate or if you want to donate it back to love story just go directly to the indiegogo campaign and i think most people go directly to the indiegogo i don't know we'll see yeah, yeah. but it would be nice for the influencers i think this is something we could just do for our influencers and yeah. yeah, as an option for our artists and contributors. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. Okay, cool. All right, uh, Calvin just texted me. He's stuck in traffic. He's really sad, sad emoji. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, so we have our um, program directors, um, and a program director will be in charge of, like, really walking them through the different steps and there's going to be a 13 week we know it's 13 weeks so whatever that step is there's going to be like a step one step two and step three and each step represents like some kind of um it it it, it aligns with here i'm going to show you the wireframe it aligns with the hero's journey in some way like the departure, the initiation, the return, like the departure is some, something related to um, getting out of your comfort zone, right? And um, standing for something uh, beyond self. You're just like, you know, like standing for a mission outside of self or maybe for self, but for others. Anyway, and then the initiation would be like, like that point of um, 
growth, the spiritual growth, and then the return would be like learning something profound from that experience and then paying it forward. So that's that's the crux of the program. And each one's going to be slightly different. I'm still in the process of writing the producer's playbook. Um, the pr so I just want to let Anna, Anna Lynn is one of our uh, directors, uh, but I already spoken to Destiny and Molly, and I'm going to speak with Jim soon about this. Um, but basically, I'm going to create the first prototype version one, and I would like them to like really absorb and break it up and um, test it to see if it's realistic, if it's a working model that that works or doesn't work and then from there add to it like based on personal experience running the program and then we're going to create a version two love store uh, producers playbook and this is when it's going to have all the director's voices in there because they've already done it you know mm -hmm. so we it so that's 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 the concept and as we have more directors coming in we're going to have like, you know, more, um, what's it called? More knowledge, more insight. People can add to this manual. It's kind of like the big book for AA. Like if you look at AA, the big book, they call it the big book. It's actually a um, anthology of all these stories collected from all members inside the nonprofit. Um, so eventually we're going to get there. But for now, we're just going to start with a, a very bare version one and then add to it. Any questions about the, uh, the programs for each leg of our nonprofit? Everyone's good? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right. Uh, okay. So at the end of the day, I realized that in order to inspire somebody to transform their personal tragedies into a love story, one has to transform the character, um, the, the actual character inside the story. So because our journaling program is a mirroring dance between um, between like the chicken or the egg, like does art imitate life or life in imitate art question? And the answer is it's a little bit of both. It's that dance, right? So, so our goal in the journaling program is to get the journaling done in such a way where because they're because as a journal artist they're they're committed it's like a it's a pact it, like like the warsaw pact i'm in i'm in warsaw right now so it's like the warsaw pact you know it's like a it's a commitment uh so a journal artist commits to arcing the hero and thereby arcing the story from tragedy to love from by by arcing their own character so they're committed to the writing of what's happening in real time and also of the past. And they're also committed to allowing the writing itself to transform them in real time. And then as they start discovering new truths about themselves in the writing, they become more compassionate, more forgiving, more um, understanding allowing the pain to really break down their egos so they're more uh, open-minded about other things, other people, uh, tolerant. And so this kind of patience and kindness from the Corinthians will be integrated into the story. And as a result, we're hoping that they actually live out their story and then or they're encouraged to live it out in such a way where they're going to live it so they could journal about it because they have to arc the story, right? So they have to, in a way, they, they have to push themselves to arc their, their real life characters so that they can write the story that's based on their reality. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, perfect, perfect. So I don't know how we're going to be uh, somehow, somehow it's all going to tie in. Like there's going to be a second playbook called the love story playbook. And that is all about how to arc the hero. Um, uh, that's actually this phase right here. Hold on. Let me show you. So the journaling program itself, the one that Annalyn and I are going to be spearheading, this is really just act one, act two, act three, rough draft. Like this is all stuff we're going to, ask people to save, share, um, or structure into different acts, right? But then there's going to be a second playbook in the future, in the near future, that's going to show them how to turn act one written in the first to act uh, to the third person. Um, so to basically workshop it into a fictional narrative told in the third and that's an act. They're going to transform the acts. And then act two is parallel. They're going to workshop the second per person point of view into the third person. So by the time they take the first, like their, like all their past journal entries, they're going to revisit it and tie it in into one big fictional third person narrative. And that is the love story. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I hope this all kind of makes sense. It'll become big picture later. Um, I have another good news is my friend Shri, who's a web and app developer, um, uh, onboarded with us recently. He's also working full time in Miami right now. So he's kind of not really responsive yet, but He's like, he told me, you know, I'm finally, you know, you've been, you've been evangelizing this project ever since I met you, which is like three and a half years ago, possibly four longer. He's like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna help you get this done. So <laughs> we're gonna create this platform here where people are gonna be starting the journal and they're gonna, you know, we're gonna start building the platform here so that later it gets to here. Yeah. So this is this is where the the miracles happen from the initiation to the return is where the hero experiences transformation and it's almost like a revisitation of the past but seeing it in a completely different way through passion and through forgiveness. Um so that's that's where it's like oh my god like this is this is really the love story. Wow. The love story actually is fulfilling its mission. And I'm experiencing that to the, to the journal artist. So that's, that's our, um, that's our mission. Nice. Yeah. Okay. We'll be back it. Cool. Any questions? I know I've been talking a lot, but I would love to kind of structure the next meeting in such a way where, um, I would love for you to come up with, um, you know, any questions or suggestions you might have on the, on the agenda, um, or just anything, any other ideas you have. So it's just an open call to, uh, getting feedback and, um, where, where do you think our next quarter, well, this is quarter one still. Well, you know what? I have less than a minute, so let's just kind of cap it off then um, by just, you know, if everyone could just uh, give their last minute um, insight about this. Uh, I think that once, once we're grooving along, you know, I think mm -hmm. that it'll, a lot more discussion will arise. Uh, you know, just like once we, once we launch, you know, and I think it'll all become a reality to us. Yeah. Uh, and it, it'll help put things in perspective for sure. Yeah. You know, I'm so glad you brought that up, Ezra. I want this to be a reality for you all. You know, like Monica's done three, three already inside. So she yeah. has some kind of like root with this. So like the next step I foresee for you, Monica, is producing your own showcase in, in your local community. You know what I mean? And like, who knows? Yeah. 
like, you know, and that, that kind of stuff. And so, yeah, I, I agree, Ezra, like launching it, executing and really being part of it in a, in a more intimate way is, is really where, where it's going to make the difference. Totally. totally. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for all your time. And um, thank you. Thank you, Minji. Thank you, Minji. Thank you. Oh my God, <laughs> your baby's so cute. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> all right. Absolutely. I think well, that we're blessed to have each other, you know what I mean? And, you know, all, all of you guys here and people I didn't even get to see, you know, Ibrahim, blessed to have you, my man. Seriously, I'd love to chop it up sometime. Monica, so amazing to have you, you know, and, and Anna. I, I, Anna, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, nice. Yeah.